check this out. The Star Wars Micro Machines Planet Tatooine playset. Got some nice detail and a Jabba's Palace there. Of course, we all remember the frog that was uh, outside Jabba's Palace. They ate the little critter in Return of the Jedi. It's got the Sarlacc Pit. This was released before the special editions came out, so the Sarlacc Pit still it's unaltered self. We've got a sales gift there, which comes off. It's out of scale with the figures, but uh, I really like the detail on it. Looks nice. Nice to have a vehicle with this placement. And, um, let's have a look in Java's Palace. Let's take this off here. Give you a look at the figures. See, we got Slave Leia and Jabba there. And got Max Rebo and uh, Slice Noodles. And the little trap door opens here. And, uh, see some bones and rocks down there. A rancor. It really does look nice. Cool little feature. I'm gonna put the background on here. background. See, we got Han Solo Frozen Carbonite, which I find a bit odd. You got Slave Leia came about after um, Han Solo was frozen in Carbonite. He was freed from the Carbonite before she became Slave Leia. I find that a bit odd that set came with it, but uh, it's really cool. Said he could take the little mob and put size noodles on here. The little knob in the bow, and uh, come on, slice noodles, don't embarrass me. You can move it about, and uh, slice noodles, and uh, Max Rebo will play for you. Slice noodles will sing, Max Rebo will play on his uh, piano, singer to bomber, whatever it's called. Of course, got nice detail on the figures, nice paint job. Because even though these figures are small, still has some play value to them. Got some nice stickers of a uh, Big Fortuna and some other bounty hunters in the back. Stickers. Which is really, really cool. And that's about it for uh, Java's Palace. There. Sarlacc Pit. Looks just as it did in the unaltered Star Wars films. It's really cool is that it comes with my favorite bounty hunter, Boba Fett. There's a lot of detail on him. He's green and yellow. And he can take him and put him in the Sarlacc pit. And the Sarlacc monster will gobble him up just as he did in the movie. And uh, Sarlacc pit opens. Show you that again. Boba and eat him up since he did the movie, which I find really cool. He's got nice detail in the sand and rocks, really, really looks cool. Really like the uh, detail in the set, nice detail in uh, Galva's Palace and the steeples and whatnot, and a little frog. Or toad. Um, that's pretty much it. I really, really, really like this set. I highly recommend you pick it up on eBay or uh, a flea market or a thrift store, wherever you can find it. I strongly recommend you pick it up because it's a really cool set. And I'd strongly recommend some of the others. Uh, there was a Death Star playset, which I really, really like to get my hands on. Uh, there was a Dagobah playset, an Endor playset. Uh, Hoth, I think they had Hoth, some other cool stuff, so, uh, if you, uh, big fan of Micro Machines, uh, these are some worthy stuff to have in your collection, uh, that's about it, I hope you enjoyed, uh, me showing you, uh, this neat playset I found at, uh, Farmer's Market for, uh, $3, and, um, I will be back soon, I'm gonna do two more reviews today, so, uh, that's something to look forward to, but, um, as Micro Machine says, think big.
play small, Mike Machines. Thanks. See you later.